Hey, another one, another one. Hi, um, I'm Vivian. Viv. I'm Edgar. Edgar. So come on, come on in, come in. Hey everyone, another one. The last one, maybe? Uh, this is Vivian, Viv, and we've got Henrietta, and that's Algernon. It's Al, I just, I go by just Al. Al, uh, this is Blanche, and then over here we have Lyman. Did I get that right? You do. Your parents were mean to you. They were, what? I mean, seriously guys, I, I have no idea what she's talking about. Oh, <laughs> serious case of deja vu over here. <laughs> serious. You get that? Anyone else get that? It's like, shh, whoosh, right? It's just like, yikes. Edgar just asked us what we all do for work when you knocked on the door, so I guess that means you get to go first. Oh, um, Henrietta, that is a very difficult question to answer. I'm sort of in between things right now, at the moment. Um, I worked in a cafe for a while. I liked that, mostly. Um, growing up, I always wanted to be a singer, but you probably already know how that goes. I was in a band called Correct Century, but we broke up a few weeks ago. The money was okay, better than nothing, certainly better than now. Is that where I recognize you from? Oh my God, it's been bothering me since you walked in the dang room. I I've seen you play, right? In that trash bar downtown next to the cat alley? <sighs> my best friend Lily and I used to go there every week until she broke some guy's collarbone trying to do the lift from the end of Dirty Dancing, and we got banned. Yeah, uh, maybe, probably. We used to play out there all the time, but that all dried up. <laughs> uh, what about you, Al? What do you do to pay the bills? I'm a baker by trade. I work in a small bakery out in Bedford. It's all right. I uh, really hope to open my own someday. Uh, we're in talks to do that, uh, my partner and I. That's neat. If I worked at a bakery, I'd get so... Well, I'm glad I don't work at a bakery. I've been working the front at a hotel downtown, the Regal. No big deal. My best friend Lily that I had mentioned earlier got me the job. But then she got fired for breaking a window while trying to do the lift from the end of Dirty Dancing. She's since stopped trying to do the lift from the end of Dirty Dancing. Anyway, the job is super easy. Play a lot of games on my phone, watch a lot of videos. So I found these ding-dongs. I just want to move out of my parents' house. What about you, Edgar? Oh, I moved out of my parents' house a long time ago. Uh, I'm a teacher, high school. High school teacher, love it, love it. Love the work, love the kids. It just kind of fits me and, and fits my whole, my whole thing. You know what they say, if you love your work when you're doing it, it doesn't feel like, let me try that again. When, when what you do you love is your work, then you're not really working. I, I think I messed that up, but uh, you get the point. What about you, Henrietta? What do you do for work? In another life, I was a lawyer. I was pretty good pretty good lawyer, maybe even a pretty great lawyer. I was good at arguing, at getting to the point, to the heart of it, you know? Playing to the jury, at reading people. I was busy all the time. I loved it. I was good at it, all of it. But it's gone now. Slipped away when I wasn't looking, I'm afraid. You know what? I don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry I brought it up. I need to start minding my own business. Does anyone know what we're actually waiting for? Are we supposed to go somewhere? Are we supposed to stay here? Are we even in the right place? I assume we're just waiting for Dan. I don't know where he is, though. Doesn't this have something to do with the new video they're working on? They do their big horror thing every Halloween, so I thought it had something to do with that. 
Yeah, I thought it was a contest thing, like with a cash prize or something. I wouldn't be here otherwise. I mean, I love their stuff, but I got better things to do on a Saturday. I thought it was a contest too. Whose house is this? Is this Dan's house? It can be, right? It's like too normal, too plain. I always thought his house would have like robots on the walls and shelves. Where is he? It's been like 20, 30 minutes of us just sitting here. I feel like I've been sitting here for hours, for days. Who was the first one to get here? Uh, I was pretty sure it was me. I think I remember all of you arriving. It was you because you let me in and I was second. Okay, and who let you in? What? You walked up, you knocked, and? I walked up, I knocked on the door, and, and, something fell off. You know, the walk up the driveway and all. It felt strange. It was so quiet. It's so quiet here. Different. Empty somehow. Lifeless. But familiar. I don't know. I, ca I can't keep it straight. Hello, everyone. Sorry to keep you waiting. Thank you all so much for coming. I hope you didn't have any problems finding the place. Such a normal looking house for such a strange and spooky history. But we'll talk about that later in the night. But in here. And here I think I have a fun time planned, full of mystery, full of suspense, of tough choices, frayed nerves, and murder. And $15,000 cash, but first, full of drinks. While the history of the house is crazy, the inside is pretty plain and stuffy. Let's take this outside. To the fire pit. Welcome all, thank you for coming, for taking time out of your days and lives to join me here in this less than magnificent, but extremely affordable location where I get to pass the savings on to you. Well, one of you anyways. It's gonna be a scream, baby. Fuck, dude, why do you even have that? Is that real? Oh yeah, it's real, but don't worry. It's not loaded, not a monster. Very not cool. A knife? This isn't a dagger, what the shit? It was a simple request, damn. Oh shit, and he forgot the candlestick? I told Greg, I told him before I left, just put everything in the box, I told him. We're both adults, how hard is that? Just. Put everything in the box. I was practically looking at the candlestick when I said it. I'm so sick of having to do everything. How are we supposed to do Clue without the candlestick? And the wrong dagger, knife, dagger. Idiot, so stupid. Sick of this absolute horse shit. Hey, uh, there's no need to get so, it's really not a big deal, right? It just, it just isn't, right? You know what? You're right. You're definitely right. Nothing we can do about it now. Thank you. Sorry about that, everyone. Sorry about that. I just want everything to be perfect. We press on. As some of you may have deduced, you are here. You're all here for a game of Clue. But for real. Kinda. I knew it. 
even if you've never played it before. You get the idea behind it. Everyone basically gets the idea behind it. It's Clue. The game is simple. Catch the murderer. Who done it? Where? And with what? Obviously not the candlestick. There'll be a number of clues to help you along the way, some having to do with episodes of our show, some to test your mental agility, and some that are just dumb fun. Your job is to discover the murderer, the murder weapon, and the location, and win the cash hidden somewhere on the grounds. Eventually, there'll only be one winner, but we'll discover that as we move into phase two. Yeah, um, that's all well and good, but who's getting murdered? And where's Mr. Body? <laughs> that's how this game begins, right? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Is he okay? I can't hear anything. I, I don't hear a heartbeat. I think he's dead. How did he... I mean, is this, is this part of the game? Of course this isn't part of the game. Seems like he was poisoned, maybe? Oh no! Do I feel okay? Am I dying? Am I poisoned too? Is this what it feels like to be poisoned? Oh, I can feel my life slipping away. Am I dead? Young lady, if you were dead, then I wouldn't be able to do this. And if you were dead, then I and all these nice people would also be dead. And if that were the case, well, this isn't such a bad way to spend eternity. It's a pretty decent house, quiet neighbors. Who are you? We all came out here bunched up, so anyone could have put anything in a dance drink, or they could have all been poisoned ahead of time. Why would you say that? You feel okay, right? I feel okay. Is this? Part of the video? Are we like in the video? This is not part of a video. Dan said this was supposed to be a fun thing. Well, fuck this. I'm calling the police. No service, zero bars. N no, I, it must just be the area. Um, I had service earlier, I'll call. I don't have service either. Does anyone here have service? Well, I sure as hell am not hanging around here with a killer. I can't even be sure he's... I'm not a medical... I don't have any training in this. I'm getting out of here and I'm getting us some help. So you're just gonna leave us here with the murderer? Unless she's the murderer. Unless she's the murderer. Unless she's the murderer. talking about the game, I remember taking a sip of my drink, and then it got dark. Not all at once, it started around the edges, and then closed in all around me, like I was falling away from the world. What is this? Just as you wanted. 
It's the game you invited them all to play. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second here. Are you, whoever you are, telling me I'm the murder mystery? I'm the victim? This isn't how this was supposed to go. It was all planned. I had a whole thing planned. Did you do this? Who are you? I can't even. Did you make this happen? We did not. Not all of it, anyway. We just provided the board. The rest was you. So, it was one of them? I'm afraid so. Which one? Which one of them did this? Which one of them killed me? But I don't want to die. Is that what you think has happened? I gotta be honest with you. Other than this conversation, there's not a lot of evidence to the contrary. Isn't that what you've always wanted? A legacy to outlast you? To be remembered? Is that what we're going with? That whoever did this did me a favor? If I had the choice between views and life, I'd rather be alive it's all the same. It is not all the same, and you don't always get to choose. Unfortunately, one of those pieces made that choice for you. I don't think Vivian's coming back, and the police should have been here by now. I don't think the police are coming, and I don't think Vivian ever left. Henrietta, seemed like such a nice lady. Why did she go back out to the fire pit? Why didn't she stay in here with us? One of us, it would seem, has very ill intentions. And Vivian is nowhere to be found. I suppose it's possible that someone else is here, that it's not one of us, that another person is inside the house or, or outside, creeping around, watching us, or, or, or waiting for, right? Blanche, are you okay? I'm, I'm scared. I'm a baby. I've always been a baby. When I was a kid, some friends and I watched the original Nightmare on Elm Street with Freddy. It scared the shit out of me, and I didn't want anything to do with scary movies after that. When I could fall asleep, I had nightmares for a month that he was going to get me. All these years, sitting at home, waiting like an idiot for my friends to text me after they made it out of the latest Saw movie or whatever. I don't know why I came to this thing. I don't know what I was expecting. Not this, obviously, but still. I don't want to die. I just thought it would be a fun thing. Like, a fun story to tell someday. Maybe a little spooky, but what's wrong with pushing yourself every now and then, right? Oh, why did I trust them? I shouldn't trust anybody. A house full of strangers? Great idea, Blanche, you dummy. In a life full of branching paths, I always seem to pick the wrong one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. I just need a minute. I just need to go. Do you want me to? Next steps. Should we stay or Rather, as a group, sitting here, not, not just sitting here, right? Safety in numbers. Or we split up, search the, we find Vivian or a clue as to who was doing this. What if there is someone else here? What if we aren't alone? The truth is out there. We just need to find it. Someone needs to take charge here. Someone needs to step up. I'll take this floor. 
I'll take outside if that's okay. I feel like I need to... It's stuffy in here and the walls are... Maybe Al and Blanche can go downstairs, check the basement, if you don't mind. Um, I very much fucking do mind. It's okay. There'll be two of us down there. The house isn't that big. We'll split up. It'll go quick. We're good. <laughs> I love this plan. Proud to be a part of it. Let's do it. Split up? They're gonna split up? Have you ever seen a horror movie? Have they never seen a horror movie? Is there someone else in the house? There must be, right? Someone else that poisoned me. Like, I can see all the pieces, but I don't have a piece, so there could be. Wait, where's the red piece? Scarlet, the Miss Scarlet piece, where is it? She tried to leave, so she was removed from the game. She what now? This is the board. For the duration of the game, there is no world outside of the board. She tried to leave. She was removed. Removed? Well then put her back. Put her back in the game. She's still alive, right? Correct. Well then put her back. You can do that, right? We won't, but you can. <laughs> Vivian, stop. You guys are okay. What is going on? What happened to Henrietta? What happened to Henrietta? You've been gone for hours. <laughs> hours? No, I just tried to leave. in here last. I don't know. No one? The killer, I guess? Whoever killed him must have gone out that door. Is anyone outside? You mean besides the killer? Edgar. Well, fuck! What do you want from us? I want you to stop this. We can't stop this any more than you can. This course of events was set into motion when you looked at that house listing. Too good to be true for sure. Or maybe it was set into motion before that. Maybe when you decided to start your chain. When you decided you had something to say and needed everyone to hear it, contributing to the noise. Maybe before, 
Maybe when you bought that first camera at that pawn shop all those years ago and got excited over a few hundred views. Maybe before. Maybe when you watched that first video from someone else and thought, that doesn't look so hard. I can do that. Before you realized that it was that hard and that every week you would die a thousand tiny deaths for the choices you make, for the things you leave out. Maybe before. Maybe when you... All right, all right, that's enough. I get it. Is it so wrong, so terrible to just want to make someone laugh from time to time? To make a person's day a little better? To have some humanity? These people, they didn't want this. I definitely didn't want this. They're my fans. I brought them here. This is my fault. I was just trying to do some good, something fun. Week after week, it's the same thing. Grinding me, us, down into dust. Fail or succeed, I just wanted to do something different. Well then, congratulations. In the end, you appear to have succeeded in doing something different. Is this it? Is this how my story ends? Check it out. I found the original murder victim. This place, the energy here, it's been hours since anything has happened. We haven't seen anybody else. What are we supposed to do? My mom is sick. She's not getting better. She won't get better. My sister and I disagree on how to handle it, her care. She's there with mom and I'm here, which was my choice. I was so dead set on getting as far away as I could, even though the dreams I had should have led me anywhere but here. Anywhere would have been better than here. I'm sorry. I'm. It's okay. I wanted to win that money. I needed to win that money. With the band breaking up, I don't even have that little coming, that little bit coming in, and what little I'd saved is gone. I'm tapped out. I just wanted to get back home with a little extra in my pocket before the um, end. It's why I came to this stupid fucking house. <laughs> I told my mom, I text her and I didn't. I hope she's not too worried. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it, it sounds like a rough situation. Yeah, well, we all have our rough situations, our own stories. <laughs> I'm just so tired of it all. We're all tired. When I was a baby, I was.
was blessed by a stranger in waters I didn't understand. And now I'm infected with disbelief and blasphemy. I'll never have a holy land. I am a ghost in the eyes of my God. But I will transcend and vomit this loser out of me. I will become the next big thing. I will light myself on fire. It's time to get out of bed. And be the star child I can be. That was really nice. It's one of my mom's favorites. If there's a way out of here, we've got to find it. I look like I'm joking. Something terrible has happened here. You're living in a fake world, but you're trying to make it real. Stop this now. can't leave! This isn't how the game is played. Please. 
I am ready to go home. Game's over, right? The murder's been unmasked. It's done. Now how do I fix this? You can't. You've done what you could and more than you should. It is out of your hands. You have no other role to play in her story. Her happy ending is no longer your concern. What about the others? What about Blanche and Algernon and the rest of them? They will do the same as you. They all have their parts to play. What does that even mean, they all have their parts to play? We all always have our parts to play. You're saying absolutely nothing. What do I do now? What happens next? What happens to me? You will exist, just like everyone else. You will exist until we are done. You will make your show, you will play your game. You will do everything we ask of you. We? Who are you? 